and this is Rose Elizabeth, David Austin, with a spider visitor. I don't think I've seen one of these before. Right, what have we got? It's quite breezy today. And there's Gertrude. And the breeze means that my ancient mariner has lost most of its blooms, which were anyway coming to an end of their life, but it's a bit sad. But you lose one thing, you gain another. Super Troopers out. Very bright orange. And this is a cutting of Lady of Shalott, which I took a couple of years ago. It's a bit straggly. And it's in a pot that's far too small for it, 15 litre pot. Abraham Darby, discontinued David Austin. A beautiful rose, if it blooms properly. It doesn't always. Looking reasonably healthy. It's not a particularly healthy plant in the UK. I think that's why it was discontinued. And I just see some traces of black spot there and at the back as well. This is the Eustacea Vi cutting, again in a 15 litre pot. And it stretches from, I don't know if you can see, from here to there, which is oh, three feet. Yeah, you can see the breeze. <laughs> and this is uh, Peter's Persica. Bright and cheerful. Oh, yes. Took a cutting of um, Alpine Sunset. And you can see how big that is. Looks a bit paler than it does in my front garden, which is where the main ones grow but still a beautiful flower. Munstead wood has just started again. And that's got about oh, a dozen or so buds on it, so that'll be quite good soon. And this is one of the roses that I bought as a possible climber, Peach Melba. A bit droopy. I'm hoping to find a climber which is a bit more robust than this Rosemary Harkness, which was a, a bare root. And this is now quite tall. How tall is that? Three feet, maybe. And looks very healthy too. Look at those leaves. Glossy, dark green. Starlight Symphony. Not sure about this yet. This was another possible climber. See, it's got that funny little petal there, which is like um, on blue eyes, which, hmm, I don't know. This is Lady Marmalade. And that's from Bowley at the back. Quite small flowers, going strong. Evening Fison. Bright and cheerful. Now Silas Mana, I don't particularly like the shape of the bush but it does have a nice scent and it does flower quite profusely so maybe 
I don't know. Oh, that's that's bent here. The weight, well, I suppose it's about two, four, six, seven, eight. Eight roses on that, so I suppose it's entitled to bend a bit. Uh, Desdemona being shaken around a bit. Some sweet peas winding around it. Dame Judy Dench. Which, as I said last video, I quite like. Uh, Princess Alexandra of Kent. And there's some young Prince Alexandra of Kent with some Princess Anne behind. Princess Alexandra has got very large flowers. Tranquility, David Austin Tranquility. It's just coming out now for the first time. Princess Alexandra of Kent just beginning to open. Down the steps. One or two people asked me about this Philadelphus Belle Etoile. Beautiful scent, strong scent. But flowers in June and that's it. And you can see it's turning brown, going over now. Meteor, a new one. Well, this year. The first flowers were a bit like this and I thought I'd made a terrible mistake. But now, getting flowers like this huge it's two two and a bit inches looks very healthy this is uh, it's an apricot Queen Elizabeth not quite the colouring I was expecting from it but it's fine well being I have yet to detect the scent which is meant to be really strong. Chippendale. Sort of dark orange is what I see there. But as they open up, it turns more pinkish. Uh, sweet honey. With the remnants of the ancient mariner behind, blue eyes, golden wedding. Well, it's a lovely rose, healthy, but but there's a stem here. Nice thick stem which has snapped just there. And I find that this does seem to have very fragile stems. So even with the very gorgeous deep yellow flowers, I'm not sure it's a recommendation. The ancient mariner, mariner down here is still hanging on bravely. And this Eustacea via at the front. They seem to be much darker 
flowers being produced now than initially. But of course they all pale to, that's almost, not quite white, but very close to white. But that's one I do recommend. Gabriel Oak. Oh, I almost trod over the poet's wife. The poet's wife is straggly. We had a strong wind, oh, was it two weeks ago? And that really pushed a lot of the stems on a lot of the roses over. So there's a bit of support in there on Gabriel. Testimona coming to the end of this flush. Uh, another Gabriel Oak. Ah, no, not Eustacea of I, sorry. And walking round. 